Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome back. Thank you so much for watching, for listening. Uh, today I'm talking about money. This, I've got my trusty notebook. You may want to grab yours because I'm going to give you lots of things to think about today. This is perfect for you if you are self-employed, if you are a freelancer, if you are um, somebody who's easing into doing your own thing or building a personal brand or maybe you're kind of in the nine to five but working on a side hustle. Um, it's a really juicy one. I want to talk about money because it's essential. It's absolutely essential. If you are looking at working for yourself, the whole point is to get paid. Unless you have a, a non-profit um, and likewise when sometimes I've had conversations with people when they say like, I don't need to make money from this because my husband earns a lot of money. And my response to that is always great, but most people do not have that luxury to just kind of potter around behind the scenes. So this is for you basically, if you wanna earn money from your personal brand, if you wanna earn money from your work. Okay, I wanna talk about how you work through your week and why this is important because if you don't have a plan and if you don't have an understanding of why you're doing what you're doing, you're gonna get really, really busy and you're gonna be having coffees with somebody or attending something because it might come to something or you might be doing X, Y, and Z or creating things or doing stuff behind the scenes. And you might get to Friday like I have many, many times in my life until I was like, oh my goodness, this is happening again. I need to look at this. I would have a full week of work, like working 12 hour days, um, five days a week. So 60 hours, like, yeah, I mean, it's quite significant. And then I get to Friday and I'd log off early, you know, only do a 10 hour day or something. And then I'd go, yeah. I don't know what I've achieved this week. I am not seeing the achievement in my bank account. I'm not seeing the achievement in the way that I feel about myself and my business. I'm not seeing the achievement in terms of the opportunities or the leads or however you want to talk about it. And that was very much in the early stages 10 years ago in terms of my coaching practice. And I hope this honesty helps you because um, I know there's a lot of conversation at the moment about the jazzy stuff and the, I guess the, the achievements and the shiny things. And that can feel sometimes empowering and sometimes aspiring, but sometimes it can feel really rubbish if you are in that situation where you're like, I am so far away from that that is not helpful to me. In fact, it's uh, derailing me slightly. So I want to talk about this because if you are not aware of your time, I always think that somebody else will take it. And this is another lesson that I learned in the very beginning, is that I was so available for everything. And I gave my time away willy-nilly to anybody that wanted it, who needed it, and just gave it for free. And in the end, I just was like completely depleted and burnt out, etc. Anyway, on to some more positive, um, uplifting exercises that you can do. I create a sense of what's going on based on how I'm using my time. And I'm gonna give you some categories. These titles may not work for you, so change them to whatever does work for you. But hopefully, you will be able to get a sense of like, okay, how could that work for me? So the first thing that I wanna talk about is your chargeable hours. And this is maybe your hours that you have to be in your shop selling your things, you know, your sort of hourly rate for that. It could be how many one-on-one -on -one hour sessions do you need to um, sell per week or how many packages do you need to earn per, uh, create and deliver per week? How many talks do you need to do? What is that number? 
And I'm not only talking in terms of timing, I'm talking as in what do you need to bring in every single, and I'm saying week because I think sometimes like a working week is easier to get your head around than a month of four working weeks. But again, change the time frame to whatever is needed for you. But understanding what your outgoings are every single week or month or day or however you do it is really important because once you know what that figure is for that kind of lifestyle, you can then work back. Likewise, if you want to then increase your income, you can then tweak how many chargeable hours you have and what those packages look like. So really understanding what are your chargeable hours? How many things do you need to get into the diary as in transactions, people have paid me for this? So that's something to think about. If I'm overwhelming you with all of this, by the way, because I'm going to go into a lot more detail, do go over to the money section of my website. I have a pricing and packaging course. It's £99 and it goes into, if you think I'm going into a lot of detail here, um, there's hours and hours within that. So um, yeah, you can, it's good if you're looking at your money and really thinking about how you price and package it, package your services. Okay, so really realizing what those chargeable hours look like per week. The second um, section of time that you need to account for, and again, the percentages or the amount of time that these things take up will be different depending on your experience or where you are in business or what's going on. So you hear about these people sometimes that are like, I am just full out, I have a waiting list, I'm fully booked, I don't need to market, it's word of mouth. But I have to say, I think there's very few businesses like that. I think there are very few circumstances where people are like, I don't even have to try. It just all comes to me. If that is you, great, fantastic. Keep doing what you're doing or changing it or, or using your magic, using your secrets. But I think for the most part, there is so much competition and conversation and distraction, I think most of us need to do some kind of element of marketing. So your time of marketing needs to be around welcoming, I guess, more people into the possibility of becoming one of your chargeable hours later down the line. 